Hey gang, this is Carl White broadcasting here in the studios today at the Mortgage Marketing Animals uh, Secret Headquarters, and you are listening to Loan Officer Freedom, number one podcast in the world today uh, for loan officers and hot topic today. Uh, we're talking about, uh, I got my dear friend uh, and um, longtime mentor of mine, Mr. Chris Johnstone. Chris, good to see you, brother. And it's fantastic to be here, Carl. Thanks for having me. So love the topic. So the topic today is using AI to uh, to get more referral partners to start referring over to us. Uh, is that, uh, that sum that up okay? Yeah, did, no, that's perfect. Did, did I read the script okay? <laughs> I think everybody knows there's no script. <laughs> no, there's no script. Boy, it wouldn't it be nice some days if there was a script, though. Wouldn't that be nice? So it would uh, be great. So, so tell me, Chris, how can we use AI uh, to attract referral partners to start referring to us? Well. I kind of see it as a step-by-step -step process. First, you need a list. Then you need something to reach out to those people. You need an offer to get them to meet with you. And then after you've met with them, you need a follow-up sequence that follows up automatically so that you stay in touch and they actually send you business. Because I think, and I would love your opinion on this actually. So I see a lot of people that get disheartened because they meet with the top producer, they have a great meeting and then they leave and they don't get any referrals and they think, oh, that didn't work. I failed. Mm. But what I, I've started to believe over time, and I get this from data and watching the campaigns is that most people are really loyal to their lender. They already have a number one yeah. and really it's about being top of mind when that situation happens where they need a second opinion or they want just that there's that deal that they can't do. And it's about being in that second position so that you can win the first. You, you think that's, you think that's right? I, I think that's totally it. I think like one of my best strategies I've ever done, like one of my best referral sources for uh, referral partners is title companies. Huh. And, I, and I tell the title companies, you know, to give me a call when they get a, uh, a an upset real estate agent who's upset at the current lender because yet again, they didn't close on time. Absolutely. And so it's finding out when there's that crack in the foundation yeah. has always been a, a, a great source to me. So yeah, so like if they're already referring over to loan officer Larry, and I'm just hypothetically picking a name here, uh, loan <laughs> officer Larry, something has to go wrong in that relationship. And that when I reach out to them on that day, whether it's I called them or social media or emailed them or text them or whatever, something's not quite right. Something's wrong. Something happened. Something went wrong. They didn't, they're not hearing from them. They're not getting enough love. Something didn't close on time. Something happened, which for me runs about 16% of the time, one six, about 16% wow. of the time. So if I, if I meet with just over time, obviously a hundred agents, about 16 of them will start uh, uh, referring to me. So answer a, a, a short answer to a long answer to your question. Yes, I agree. Something, something, something's not right. That's awesome. So if we look at it from that perspective, it's not about the one appointment. It's about stacking the appointments as fast as we can get them so that the list on the back end is as big as possible. So every week when we're doing our outreach to all the people that we've met with, we have the greatest opportunity of success because the more people that we have on the outreach, the higher the likelihood that somebody's one of those 16% where there's something going wrong with the deal and you're going to get the call because you're top of mind. So how do we take AI? That's exactly what, because you know, if somebody only meets with five agents, 16% of five is less than one. <laughs> yeah. So we, so, so we have to have on average 16 right? 16%. So we need, we need, we need, yeah, we, we, we need like 16%, right? What is that? So like basically one out of what? Six, something like that. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Close, six. something like that. Yep. So we need to meet with six to get one, but really six, it's not 16%. You know, sometimes we have to meet with 12 to get one and then three more to get two more, you know, but, right. but, but yeah, so, so no question. 
the faster we meet with 100, the faster we get 16 of them referring to us. Absolutely. And so first off, if we take AI and we look at this process of like, we need a list of qualified agents, you can go ask ChatGPT because ChatGPT now does real-time research on the internet. So there used to be a knowledge cutoff and now they've gotten rid of that. So you can do real-time searches on Bing right with ChatGPT, or you can go get a plugin. If you're using the upgrade, you can go search Google and you can literally go to ChatGPT and say, hey, go find me the top producing real estate agents in XYZ market. And you can watch it, go out onto the internet and look at Zillow and look at realtor.com and look at the top producer list that Remax puts out, Coldwell puts out. It'll go visit all those websites, read all of those websites, bring you back a list, and then you can prompt it again and say, great job, go find me their social media information and their emails and their phone numbers. Now it's not gonna find all the information, but it's gonna find enough of it that you can start producing these lists. And the reason why I love that, and actually I show how to do this in the three part or four part video series that we put out there. Um, it's video number three, where I actually go through a live demo of me doing this. But the reason why I love it is because it expands you out. It's not just realtors. You can do it with financial planners. You can do it with investment advisors. You can do it with insurance agents. It goes on and on and on. I mean, um, you know, one of the top 10 people on the Scotsman's Guide list. Uh, I believe she's number nine, number eight. She gets the majority of her business from solar companies. From what companies? Solar companies. Solar, like, like, like people to put solar on. People Elon have... Musk, solar companies. Yeah, because if you think about it, you know, so they've got two of the largest companies in California that do solar installations. They have hundreds of salespeople out there every single day. The majority of those people are like, okay, yes, I want to put solar on my house. I need financing. So, like, does, no. so she's doing basically cash out refinances to to pay to pay for their solar. Interesting, right? And that, and that and she's number nine in, in in Scotsman's guy. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So you know we're in an interesting market right now. There's lots of opportunities for business. We just need to be a little bit. There's more people in the top of the funnel, right? So ChatGPT can go get you these lists. Start All right. With so, so, so I got four. So, so I'm, I'm wanting to get a list and then I would need to reach out to that list and I need to make an offer to that list and then I need to follow up on that list. That's so right. in the first thing, and by the way, when you said you could, uh, uh, so, so Chris and I did a, a, a series of four videos, which you can go watch now and it's free, right? You can have this. If you go to L-O-A-I training.com, and I know many of you, some of you are watching this video, uh, many of you are listening to it on the podcast, uh, so kind of mark this or, or put on pause right now and go mark that on the internet. It's L-O-A-I training.com, and, and you can have uh, this training. So, all right, so I, I, so I used, I go to chat GPT and tell me, tell it. Hey, here's the agents that I want. I want them in this area. I want them to have, uh, be the top producers in my area and give me their email, their, their cell phone and their social media contact. Now I've got my list. That's right. And right. We, also, we also have a good friend of ours, Richard Smith. You know, there's lots of sources if you want those top producers, but you get the list and then you put them into a campaign sequence. We use a CRM to do this, but it doesn't matter what CRM you use, but what matters is that you can do email, that you can do uh, consistent outreach. And so you should be able to combine that with phone calls and you should be able to see who have I called? Did they pick up? Did they not pick up? If they don't pick up the phone, it automatically puts them into the follow-up sequence because the likelihood of you getting that person to pick up on the first phone call very, very low. For but sure. if you call them the second week, the third week, the fourth week, it's the daily success plan, right? But using an AI powered CRM, you make sure that that happens every single week and you can get it to send a different message out every single week. Because what we've discovered how to do is how to hook the CRM that we use up to chat GPT. So when we send out a message, and we see that that person responds to it, ChatGPT can actually write a response 
to the realtor and it can respond back automatically. So you get that instant response. But I understand a lot of people right now are still, hey, I want to check all the messages before they get sent out. Yeah. So we've actually got the campaign set up where you get a notification and it says, hey, this realtor just responded back. This is what they said. And here's chat GPT's response. Do you approve it? If so, click this link. If not, go into the CRM and respond yourself and then teach your prompt how to handle this question the next time. So the reason why that's so important, Carl, is because normally if you're trying to reach out to all these referral partners, you can only do so many phone calls in a day. You can only reach out to 30, maybe 40 people before you have to you know, go do all of the work that you've got for the day. Well, leveraging AI, you can put people into the system. You can do hundreds of them at once, and you only have to respond to the people that are responding to you. So you're actually spending your time on the opportunities that have the greatest opportunity for you to actually get an appointment. Does that make sense? It, it makes perfect sense. I get it. You, you know, for, for me, it's kind of like, like this, this CRM that's partnered up, or I don't know if they're, they're not partnered up, but connected up to AI automatically. Um, it does what I would do if I could count on me. <laughs> I mean, that's a, <laughs> Like I know what I need to be doing. I just don't have time in the day. Look, I'm I, I got this lock. I, I'm I'm talking. Hey, and we all get them. I got this shopper on the phone, and and when I'm doing that, like in the past, nobody's out doing my marketing for me to get the next loan because I'm too busy working on this loan right now. But now with the Chat GPT and having a real time conversation through email or text, and gosh, soon voice. No no doubt that's coming very soon. Yep. It's, it's, I got this salesperson that's a perfect employee working on my behalf, saying exactly how I would say it because I reset it up in the few, in the past. And, and in the beginning, when it sent out messages, let me approve those messages first. Oh, no, change this line here. And change. so it's learned the way that I talk. It's automatically having those conversations. Or if I'm having a little bit of, I don't know, let's say reluctance on reaching out, the bot, doesn't have reluctance. That's right. Like there, there is no reluctance. There is no, I'm not having a good day. There is no, like, like it's all, it's, it's amazing. Like it's, it's really interesting stuff. So I, I love the way that it does exactly what I know I need to be doing, but let's just be honest. I'm a human being with human emotion. So, all right. So we got the list. We got that. Uh, we, we, uh, did, we, we talked about how the AI can automatically do this, reach it, reaching out for us. Right. Yep. Is uh, anything else with that or are we, are we ready for the offer part? Well, so only that it will automatically book appointments for you. So it will automatically respond back with the link where it's like, hey, thanks so much for reaching out. It, based on whatever the person's put in, it sends back and it sends out the link. So you can actually be sitting in your office and have a realtor book an appointment on your calendar. So we call this process the executive recruiter. And our concierge agents are booking an average of five qualified realtors per day per concierge doing this outreach. And I would say roughly half of the appointments that we book are automatically booked through the smart links that the system is sending back to people through the conversations. It's not somebody on the phone that's manually booking the appointment. It's the automation that does it. So even if you don't have a caller that's making the calls, the system is working the automations to book. I think that's people get a lot of value from that. Oh yeah. That, that, that solves a big problem. So dude, this is some freaky stuff on how, <laughs> and, and, and you know, Chris, I mean, honestly, I would say six months ago, the vast majority of us would go AI, what yep. chat GPT, who, mm -hmm. right. And now here it is just six months later. And we've got this thing that it finds who to connect up with. It connects up with them. It has a conversation with them. It books the appointment with them. It sends them the calendar link that that you know for them to show up. And uh, and as as we're going to talk here in a, in a few minutes, it does a follow up for us. I mean, this is nothing short but of amazing. I mean, it really I, is. It's it's it's, it's and, and and where this is going, we can't even fathom at this point. But it's uh it's super powerful stuff. It's really 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 cool. Yeah. Like just one little tidbit. Um, so when they book the appointment, 
it also follows up to make sure they actually show up to the appointment. So more people show up. But the, the tidbit itself is when ChatGPT 3.5 was released, they, gave, they put it through an IQ test. And the IQ test of ChatGPT 3.5 was 16. One six. I, one six. One step above, one step below moron. <laughs> one I mean, step you're below talking, You're talking about an IQ of 16. That's probably like a, an eight-year-old. So I shouldn't say moron, but a, a, a not, a baby. Like they haven't been exposed to information. They, like how could they have anything above a 16? What is, what is the, uh, now that the 4.0 is out, what is it? So the four, uh, so chat GPT, it was 364 days. So one day less than a year, chat GPT four came out and it had an IQ of 160. If I remember right, that's Einstein. That is Einstein's IQ. So, so, so now it had, but here's the, here's the thing about this stuff is Einstein had an IQ of 160, but let's say in physics. That's right. Right. Whereas the, the AI machine, it's got a, a, a IQ of 160 in everything from boat mechanics to poetry writing, like everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, really? It is, it's wild. Yeah. Um, and as you interact with it and teach it what you want it to know, you're able to take that level of intellect and take it from being super broad to being laser targeted on just your business and your focus. And I think that's what you and I have done really well together. Like you and the mortgage marketing animals, you just have, in my opinion, the best marketing strategies that work every single time people do them. I think the struggle that people have is doing them because just like you said, they get busy, they have loans, they do the activities, they get loans, they have to process the loans. So they stop doing the activities. Or, or, or you know what it is, man? It's human emotions get in the way. Mm. And we know that, right? We know what we're supposed to be doing, but human emotion gets in the way. Me too, by the way, right? We're oh. human beings. Me too. And, and when we put it through a system that's AI operated, it removes that human emotion from our end. So it still has our human emotion going out because it's talking like Carl talks or like Chris talks or how Chris would respond back to that question, right? Because it learns... How, you know, you can, uh, you showed me how uh, you, it, it can, you can, I can give it my website and go, all right, here's my stuff. Here's how I say things. Here's my, here's my Q and A and it learns it. Yep. And, and so when it talks, it, ta dude, I saw one uh, the other day we, we're, we're, we playing with this stuff, you know, over, over here on our end and they were showing me the way it's responding back to some questions. And like, I, I, I totally thought it would like, did I write that six months ago and I forgot about it? Yeah. Because it's, it's, it totally has my language, you know, like 100%. So, hey, I know we got a lot to cover and uh, there's no way we can cover all this in a, you know, a 20, 30 minute podcast. And we try to keep this kind of drive time. Again, if you go to loaitraining.com, LO standing for Loan Officer Artificial Intelligence, right? L-O-A-I training dot com uh you're going to see a series of four videos this one that we're talking about today with referral partners is video number three uh but they're completely free and uh, and it'll walk you through this in great detail and and you'll see the visual component of 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 of, of uh actually you chris actually putting this into place uh is there anything that we should cover just real quickly uh here in the next few minutes uh that we think we can do here or or do we for just sure I don't, want, I don't want to leave too much of a cliffhanger on the offer. So okay. I think one of the things that people struggle with is actually having something of value that they can give to the realtor to get them to show up to the appointment. Okay. And then obviously we're going to put them into a funnel. It's going to follow up with them once a week. That's all automated on the back end. But how do you actually take an offer? And AI, I believe, has absolutely transformed that because when you have a top producer, I mean, they all have leads. They're trying to generate leads. So an incredible offer that we're able to take out to these realtors is, hey, what are you doing with your leads? Are you happy with your lead conversion? They're not. You can now offer to take these bots and have these bots work their leads for them, turn them into applications on your side, refer that back to the realtor. There's something of incredible value there. 
So there's, there's one. We talked about ChatGPT being able to get you multiple contacts of multiple people, right? And we have a strategy that we call the mastermind. And it is reaching out and saying, hey, we've heard great things about you. We're looking for like-minded, aligned people in the marketplace that we can introduce to other professionals in the marketplace that we have in our mastermind and in our network. Would you be interested in a quick 15 minute call? Well, when you're making that offer to a financial planner and an investment advisor and an insurance advisor and a real estate agent and all of the other people in your local marketplace that you can connect together, you become the hub for all those referrals. And then every application that you take in your mortgage business becomes an opportunity for you to reach out to all of those professionals. And it's not just one professional referral, it becomes many professional referrals. So you're leveraging every application that you take in your mortgage business. And the way that we're leveraging AI to do that, Carl, is when an application comes in, you tag them inside this CRM system as an applicant. And the AI automatically sends out a survey. And the survey says, we've got one more thing that goes along with your application. Fill, a, fill this out so that we can help build a wealth team around you. And it says, who, who is your realtor? What title company are you going to use? Do you have somebody that helps you with your taxes? Do you have somebody that helps? Do, do you have an accountant? Anyways, there's 12 different professionals that they asked for in that survey. When you get that back from the client, you have two lists, the people that they have a relationship with. And then there's a campaign to reach out to those people. Hey, we have a mutual client, heard great things about you. We'd love to meet with you for 15 minutes. And then you've got a list of the people they don't have. Well, what's that? That's a, an opportunity for you to introduce that applicant to those professionals that they don't have, which is a referral that you can then send out. So that's two of the three offers that we use. And again, I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Those are two different ways that we're leveraging AI just to give you something of value so that you can get more appointments with realtors. You can get more relationships and just get more referrals through the door in today's market. Awesome. So we talked about how we would get the list through AI. We talked about how we would reach out, you know, on the, through the, the through a, a CRM, right? And it's automatically uh, integrated in. Uh, number three, we just now talked about the offer. Uh, can we talk about the follow-up? And like, uh, I know we're, we're on a time crunch here. Can we uh, uh, talk about how AI will help us with the follow-up real quick? Oh, it's, <laughs> that's the easiest part. So you put them into a campaign that, so with AI, you're never stuck for an idea. And I think this is the simplest way maybe for mortgage professionals to get started with AI. So if you're listening to this podcast and you haven't played with ChatGPT and you're just, AI is just a word. It's not a thing that you've experienced yet. Brainstorming is arguably one of the most powerful ways for you to start because you start to realize how intelligent this technology can be. So once a week, when you get into the office on Monday mornings, you can just sit down with your AI and be like, okay, I want you to go search the internet and find me the top news stories about mortgages that happened in the last seven days. Mm -hmm. Give me a list of things that would be valuable to realtors in the Pasadena marketplace, wherever you're located, right? Well, all of a sudden you've got three articles with sources of information that's super relevant to all the realtors in your local marketplace. A, you can hop on social media and deliver that as content. B, you put it into a newsletter, send it out to all those realtors. C, it's content for texts for all of the people that already know you, like you, trust you, and would send you business. It's a reason to reach out. One of the things that people struggle with is, I don't know what to say to my referral partners. I don't want to just call them up and be like, do you have a deal for me this week? Do you have a deal for me this week? There needs to be something new. AI can like that. You've got the content to send out to those people. So once a week, you work with your AI, and you simply write to it like, oh, great research. Put that into an email to send to my referral partners in my voice. If you've trained that prompt, spits out the email, punch it into the CRM, and the CRM that we're working with, you can draft that right inside this thing, and boom, you send it out. It takes you 10, 15 minutes because you're powered by AI, and once a week, you've got something of value, 100% unique to you that gets sent out, that builds that relationship, and then use the Mortgage Marketing animal script at the end to ask for business because you just ask and you will get the referrals, but chat GPT and AI gives you the reason to reach out with something of value while you're asking for the referrals. 
man, good stuff. I'm telling you, this is this this isn't changing the way we do business. This has changed yeah. the way they do business. And if you're not tapping into this stuff uh, yet, uh, boy, I I, I got to encourage you. Like, however you do it, whoever you do it with, you have got to chat. You got you have got to tap into this AI thing because this is going to be a thing. You don't want to be left on a uh, on a donkey in a cart when everybody else is driving around in, you know, in, in Ferraris, like it's, 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 I'm telling you, it's that big of a deal. It really is. So uh, be sure to go check it out. L O A I training.com L O A I training.com. Again, it's completely free. Uh, and there's four videos and these are not short little three minute videos. Like uh, this is some really in-depth, great information. Uh, Chris, anything I should have asked you that, uh, that I didn't ask you here today. No, I don't. I don't think, think, think so. we covered it. I think we got it all covered. Yeah. So on the uh, on the so I know we're doing a series here. Uh, so uh, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna. So go go check out the loai training dot com because that will give you the information that we're gonna be doing here over the next series. So you can kind of move to the front of the line and go ahead and get the information there. And frankly, it's it's much more in depth also. So be sure to go check that out. L-O-A-I training.com. Chris, you're an awesome, I really appreciate your brother. And thanks so much for uh, helping out all of our loan officer friends at a time where they really could use some help. And I appreciate what you do, buddy. Thank you for having me, Carl. And everybody, thank you for listening and uh, looking forward to uh, the next time we get to connect. All right, we'll see you on the inside, uh, see you on the training, and we'll see you on the next episode of Loan Officer Freedom. Thanks again, everybody. Bye-bye.